Hey yo, and welcome to another episode of Advanced Glitch Building, Blender Glitch Sequencing Episode Number 3. Now with Waypoint 4.0, we've got a lot of new updates to the connection points around a lot of different build parts. Most of them have been flipped 180 degrees so that they are completely upright and horizontal. First, I'm going to show you a couple cool little tricks that you can do now because of the flipped upside down versions of the connectors on the floor switch. If you just blender glitch one from one side of a wire to the other, and then blender glitch in sequence from that wire point at its center to either the left or the right side over and over and over again, you get a very interesting upward and outward curve. If you do this all the way around, it will actually curve back on itself, but not precisely. And you can repeat this process to get a very interesting kind of almost horizontal spiral. And then off of this, of course, you can, you can use all the connection points to glitch in whatever parts you would like. This is mostly going to be used for, I imagine structural things or architecture or just sculptures, very artistic and abstract looking things as it's not very practical to use as a ramp or a staircase, but it does look very cool and it's very easy to do. Now, if you would like a very, very slow spiraled staircase from these, all you have to do is wire glitch in a small floor and then reverse wire glitch from a position behind it and then connect that wire to the connection point on the floor switch that you would like your very, very subtle spiral staircase to go. And then you can wire glitch in a new floor piece at that angle, then repeat the process by glitching in a small floor piece on the opposite side, then reverse wire glitching from one position down below and then connecting that wire to the opposite side, to the right hand side, the side that you want your spiral to go. Do the this enough times and you'll have yourself a curve of level wire connection points that you can then either glitch items off of or glitch items directly into the connection points and they will all be level with each other so you can use them as a staircase if you would like. Next, I'm gonna show you a trick that can be used with just about any of the new build items that have innate connection points that are all upright. Blender glitch a power inverter from the right side of a wire to the left side and then blender glitch from that right side into the near side connection point of that power inverter that you just glitched in. Repeat this process and you'll get a very interesting cascading curve that will slowly bend down towards the starting point of your first wire. Now, depending on the length of your wire and depending on what item you are using, this interesting little hook can have a ton of different varied sizes and can be used in a ton of different ways. I look forward to seeing what anybody uses uses with this as you can do a lot with cascading circles of these as you can see here I've made a very interesting uh, structure it doesn't look like anything specific as well as a interesting looking chandelier just rotating this about 16 times lastly for this episode we're gonna go over a very simple circle of pill lights you can make simply by blender glitching one into the next one if you have a wire and you blender glitch from one end to the other and then blender glitch from that end of the wire to the connection point on the pill light and then repeat the process from the previous pill lights connection point to the next one blender glitching in a new pill light and as long as you keep looking at it perfectly straight you will eventually get yourself a near perfect circle a near perfect ring of pill lights you'll know by the time you get to the end if you were looking at them straight or if you had any bad pulls because you will line up with yourself very nicely at the very end of the sequence there is a lot you can do with this. You can glitch other items into those connection points to get different directions and different facing connection points to snap other items in. But when you do this, you'd need to be careful because deleting any items, almost any items that you glitch into these points on the pill lights will also delete the pill lights when you delete them. So be careful what you choose to use. So there you go. Four blender glitch sequences that can be utilized in a uncountable number of ways. I really look forward to seeing what you guys can come up with this stuff. Let me know in the comments uh, any blender glitch sequences you'd like to share with other people. And um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.